It's time for Supply Chain Now Radio, broadcasting live from the supply chain capital of the country, Atlanta, Georgia. Supply Chain Now Radio spotlights the best in all things supply chain. The people, the technologies, the best practices, and the critical issues of the day. And now, here are your hosts. Hi, this is Greg White with Supply Chain Now Radio. We're here at the Georgia Manufacturing Summit put on by the Georgia Manufacturing Alliance here at the Cobb Galleria Center. Just talking to a few folks that are here at the show with us. Um, and right this moment, we have Daniel McKinnon with MHI. So they're uh, the host of Promat and Modex, a couple of gigantic shows in the supply chain industry. So we just thought we'd sit down with Daniel and uh, learn what we can about him and his organization and what they're doing, what they're seeing happen in the world. So welcome. Thank you very much. It's good to have you here. So um, I thought maybe we would just kind of have a brief talk about uh, who you are, your company, and kind of what you're seeing going on in the industry. So uh, tell us a little bit about, you know, how you came up through the industry, your professional journey, any influences or anything like that. Sure. So I started uh, running and producing and selling and marketing trade shows 28 years ago, uh, was uh, fresh from a position with Senator Sam Nunn and learned about the trade show industry through a friend's parents and started to uh, develop a, a, a real love and real desire to bring people together to engage um, different industries uh, by providing platforms where people could come together buy, sell, educate, network. The mm. trade show business is really kind of a mystery to, to many people. Um, they, they attend them, they hate them, they love them. Uh, but it, it is really a, a unique and very prosperous uh, uh, platform, marketing platform, marketing vehicle that um, has developed really aggressively over the past 20 years. We do say that it is the second oldest profession in the world, <laughs> however, okay, great. Uh, that's probably inappropriate, but, but um, it, it, it's okay, it has we been, can edit. <laughs> yes, it has been around forever. Um, and I uh, started off uh, at 22 selling booths and uh, marketing. And then uh, since I had a, <clears throat> an international background, I, I started working with uh, international organizations. I worked for Mess of Frankfurt, who's the third largest trade show organizer in the world for 15 hmm. years. And our North American headquarters was actually right across the street from, from here. And I uh, had different roles and, and worked with various organizations. And as of January 1st of 2019, the executive vice president for exhibitions for MHI, which is the association, the trade association, representing the material handling, supply chain, logistics industries. Right. That's great. So. Um, it sounds like you've had a full career of history in this industry. That's fascinating. So, and you got into it, um, got into it through friends of the family. Yes, that's 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 correct. They needed somebody to uh, basically to sell boots, to sell space, and um, you know, working uh, uh, for a uh, working in. Uh, legislative services for a, a U.S. senator, there's, there's really not much money or glamour. Right, not that. a lot of it's, upside. It's, it's, it's more work than glamour. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I, this, this opportunity provided me in the ability to travel, to, to do different things, to, to meet different people, to learn a lot about a, 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 a lot of different industries. I had great mentors, mm. uh, men and women, that influenced me greatly. And I, I recognized how really, really smart they were and how they had um, the ability to uh, not only work very hard and create these amazing events for people to exchange ideas and do business, but also, and what is really important to me, have fun. You know, yeah. life's too short. Yeah. Life is too short not to enjoy what you do, and I thoroughly enjoy what I do. These are really great, and you know, the Georgia Manufacturing Summit is a little bit different, but still an opportunity for professionals to gather together network, see what's new and happening in the industry. So it's a great opportunity for folks to get together, share ideas, meet old friends and meet new associates, learn about what's happening in the industry and, and hopefully gain some knowledge that they can take back to the job on a day-to-day -day basis. So MHI is a big part of, you know, of, of this obviously. And right. 
Modex and Promat are a couple of the shows that you do. So Modex happens in uh, Atlanta on even years and Promat, Promat in Chicago on odd years. So can you tell us a little bit about MHI and those shows? Absolutely. I, I also I want to reinforce what you just said about whether it is a meeting of 100 people or a, uh, a, a trade show with one million people. Right. These type of events are a spectacular and truly the best opportunity for people to exchange ideas, yeah. to educate, to network. You know, and I don't just say that because I'm a trade show nerd. <laughs> there is data behind this. There are facts that prove that this is the best opportunity for yeah. people to do business. So, and, and speaking of this type of business, um, MHI, the association that re represents the supply chain industry, and it is the, really the authoritative resource uh, for uh, this community of, of material handling and, and supply chain, logistics manufacturing, um, and end users. Uh, one of the platforms that, that we do is Modex, and it's March 9th to the 12th. It's in Atlanta at the Georgia World Congress Center. Right. Uh, it's in the B and C halls, which represents a gross amount of square feet of about 900,000 square feet. Uh, we uh, um, occupy through um, our theaters and our sold exhibit space about uh, a 400,000, 450,000 net square feet of space. Uh, and uh, it, it really covers the, the full B and C halls. Yeah. One very interesting and unique thing about Modex this year is that the Georgia World Congress Center has gone through a renovation right. and they've now connected B and C halls. So there's no going out and in and out and in. It's one big hall. You had a, in, uh, sort of a land bridge That's before right. to get from one hall to the other, That's right? right? And now it's all one hall? It's all one hall. Wow. It, it, was, it was very awkward or, or, or inconvenient, I should say, not awkward. It was inconvenient to go out, up, over, back down. Right. Now you just, you stay in the hall the whole time. It's pretty We've impressive. got plenty of, uh, you know, uh, food and beverage. We've got plenty of entertainment. We've got, you know, 950 exhibitors right. um, showing you know, the, the highest technology, as, as, as well as all products that one can use in a, uh, a warehouse, a distribution center, right. uh, third-party logistics providers. You know, we, 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 we've got the full ecosystem with those 950 exhibitors. I got to experience that a little bit with the Georgia Logistics Summit in 2018, and um, it was just amazing what, what was being displayed there. I mean, basically, people had created miniature warehouses in the facility yeah. so you could watch their conveyance equipment and that sort of thing. It was really impressive. Also, I'm a bit of a baseball fan and we were positioned right by, you, I don't know if you remember this, but Old Dominion had their uh, trailer in there where you were supposed to count uh, the baseballs. And we were right, our booth for my company at the time was right there. So I felt like we had a little bit of an advantage because we could actually try to figure it out. We didn't yeah. win. They I was didn't a little win. disappointed that we didn't win <laughs> with all of that extra, extra I don't know if opportunity. Ever wins those things. No, I don't know if anyone ever actually. So two, two unique things about this year. Uh, well, actually, other unique things other than the one hall uh, format, which is really great for us and for our exhibitors and yep. the attendees. We're about 33% uh, larger. Wow. Uh, yeah. So. Uh, by square footage, um, we're 33% we're larger, so wow. it's even more spectacular. And we anticipate, you know, a, a significant increase in the number of attendees as well. Um, and, and also, the, we've really uh, been able to fill out the backyard area. We'll have right. a baseball throwing simulator, we'll have a golf simulator. And much more um, sort of experiential activations, which you know helps give the attendee a moment of repose after walking for miles and miles yeah. and miles. So that is that is a nice area for, and that's a, you know as you talk about networking is an important part right. of it, and it's a great opportunity to do that in that backyard area. So it's great that you guys provide um, that. So you're interacting with a lot of companies, obviously, as you bring them into the show and that sort of thing. I know you're not a supply chain guy, right? As you said, I am you're, not. you're a trade show geek. I'm a supply chain <laughs> geek, but I wonder if there's anything that you're seeing um, as you talk to your exhibitors or attendees that you know you you could identify as uh, a theme or a trend or anything that you see happening in the industry today. Absolutely. So, although I am with a trade show group within the association, the association itself is the authoritative resource for this industry. And I have the opportunity to sit through a lot of seminar sessions, you know, really, really interesting and compelling content. And one of the things that I've been hearing 
most recently is just the amazing increase in productivity within the, not only the manufacturing facility, but also within the distribution center and the warehouse. Additionally, we have talked a lot about the economy and how recent events have really helped elevate. Trade. Yeah, the, the trends are all pointing upwards. However, there is some you know, cautionary notes on the horizon. But that being said, you know, our, our trade shows are really pegged to the economy. Mm -hmm. um, growth is growth and mitigation is mitigation. But one thing that our, our economist, you know, we have an economist on, on staff, and one thing that um, he has made clear is that the supply chain slows down about a year to 18 months after manufacturing and, 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 and inbound distribution slows down. So, you know, we anticipate some continued growth within our trade shows and also within our industries. Yep. And, uh, and, and, are, and are looking forward to, you know, a, a, another year or two of, 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 of good times. Yeah. Um, that being said, you know, we all have to be careful. You know, macroeconomic conditions affect all of us. Everybody in, 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 the, uh, in the Cobb Galleria Center today, yep. uh, but, but, but not just, you know, not just us. The, the, the whole, and, and one interesting thing about supply chain is it touches everybody, you know? Right. It, it, it's, it's all industries, it's across everything. It's a, it's a, How my, did this uh, get here? Everything, yes, exactly. right? Everything we're wearing, it's, everything we're touching. It's exactly talking, right. Right, the camera that's, that's viewing us right now, it all came through the supply chain. That's right? exactly so right. We, we, we say it's really an, inch, an inch deep and a mile wide. Yeah. Because it, you know, it's from, from pharmaceuticals to aftermarket automotive to retail and apparel and textiles and yep. uh, you, know, you, you name it, it's, it's, it's supply chain. I think it's interesting that, I think people are, are becoming really aware of that. I, I think, um, you know, particularly with e-commerce and that virtually everybody participates in e-commerce today. Absolutely. A lot of what is shown, the material handling products at, at Modex, um, a lot of that impacts every single consumer and now you know we've been made more aware of the ability to get everything virtually instantly or at least now next day that's right often um, that everyone is becoming aware of supply chain and that requirement to be efficient um, and to be effective in the supply chain is greater than ever and the recognition of that is greater than ever as well because how often is it that that a consumer knows why you don't have something. Hey, you're not doing this well enough. Um, you know, in the past, uh, a consumer wouldn't have known that, and now it's right in, right in their wheelhouse in terms of knowledge. So, absolutely. I mean, societal society's behavior has really impacted us, and and yeah. and, and, and really uh, facilitated the extraordinary growth of not only our trade shows, but of our members' businesses. You know, I, I, I look at, you know, my, my wife and, um, you know, I want diapers tomorrow. You know, right. I, I want them in two hours. Right. You know, well, okay, you know, there's, there's a dozen companies that are like, okay, we'll get them to you in two hours, yep. you know? And they compete with each other for the, the ability to get them to you, you know, quickly, um, you know, efficiently um, with, with, with uh, with quality and and service, so you know these are things that are, that are, are more recent developments, but they're here to stay, and, and that's why one of the other things that we've seen uh, with our members and and with our affiliate organizations, yeah. um, a lot with uh, with retailers especially and and, and and large distribution centers is automation, yeah, and productivity and robotics. You know, I, I, I you know the the warehouse of ten years ago, you know you're you're. Your dad's, your granddad's warehouse, your grandmother's right. warehouse does Father not look like yes, <laughs> does not look like the warehouse today. Yeah. It, it, today it looks like you know Star Wars. Yeah. Uh, you know it's 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 robots. Literally. Yeah, it's, with it's little automated things conveyor. flying yeah. around in it. Ab yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I think that's a really interesting change. I think it's, I think it's a reflection in some ways of the generational change that we're going through as baby boomers leave the workforce there aren't enough people to replace the largest generation in the history of mankind. And I think where people saw automation as a threat in the past, I think they are willing and able and it's necessary to accept it as something that's inevitable and necessary because we just don't have the people 
to do the jobs, to fulfill the volume at the pace that we want vo the volume fulfilled these days. Absolutely, and you know that's interesting because it's not a threat anymore, it's, it's, it's a real uh, facilitator. Yeah. And uh, I, I will say that our association, MHI, yep. has identified what is a threat, and that is workforce development. Like, there, yes. there are more jobs than there are qualified people. And right. a lot of that has to do with the higher technology involved in the current requirements for jobs and employment these days. You know, we need smart, educated, um, trained, experienced yes. people to operate this, this new, you know, uh, warehouse to, to, to run these right. new distribution centers. Um, and that's why the, the, these, these um, the schools, the, the universities today, uh, the, the vocational schools are, are really trying to, to push this curriculum um, because look, there's jobs available. You know, yeah. we, we, there are jobs available in this industry and we need more qualified people to fill the workforce challenges that our industry is facing. And it's not necessarily a college education, as you said. No, no, it this, can no. often be technical, very technical for sure. Vocational right. is, that's, that's what's needed, you know? Yep. We got enough lawyers and doctors. Yes, that's right, <laughs> we, we do. We, we, you know, we need some people to run the, 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 the conveyor belts, the, the, the robots, the, the manufacturing facilities. Right. Uh, we, we, need, we need people um, that can work yeah. and that know how to work. Yeah, that's a really good point. Not that lawyers and doctors don't work. We'll never know. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's true. That is true. Um, well, I, I appreciate you spending some time with Pleasure. us today. So I, I'm really looking forward to Modex. Of course, we're... Um, we're going to be on site um, broadcasting from the show as well and sharing some space with you. First of all, I'd like to thank you and MHI for hosting the Atlanta Supply Chain Awards. So um, we're going to be sharing a little bit of your six, 900,000 square feet of space. <laughs> Nine billion. Yes. Nine billion, right, right. trillion, gazillion. We're all, we're, we promise we won't <laughs> take up too much space. Um, so. But it's great partnering with you, and I really appreciate what you guys are doing, and you're bringing a lot of valuable information. The networking time, um, you know, the displays of, of product and services providers and all of that sort of thing, that's really necessary in this day and age. And I think, as you mentioned earlier, it's sometimes underrated, the value of the educational sessions that occur and the panel sessions uh, and idea sharing that occur at these types of events is tremendously valuable as well. So thanks Absolutely. for what you're doing and, you know, um, appreciate your time. Yeah, thank you very much. And, and you just to, to close real quickly, I, I just want to reinforce that March 9th to the 12th, Modex takes place at the Georgia World Congress Center. MHI is a nonprofit trade association. Right. We believe in an inclusive community. And we also firmly and, and, and without doubt believe that the rising tide lifts all ships. And we want to, to, to bring everybody together. We have 150 of those educational seminars on the show floor. Wow. We have Nikki Haley and as, as a keynote. Really looking forward to that. The Mannings, also uh, something new, uh, Peyton, um, Peyton Manning are uh, they gonna, and Archie Manning. Uh, are they going to the, build the Super Bowl trophy out of Cheerios boxes? They now? are. <laughs> okay, good. good. <laughs> With automation. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah good. Uh, but they're, they're keynoting on, on uh, Wednesday. We have just a great lineup of exhibitors, of education, of uh, special events, uh, women in, 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 uh, in workforce. Yeah. Um, sessions, so we're, we're excited. Appreciate your time. Yeah, likewise. And look forward to seeing you in March. Great. Thank you. All right. Uh, Daniel McKinnon with MHI here at the Georgia Manufacturing Summit. It looks like we hit a break here. Um, we've got a pretty good audience here checking us out. Uh, appreciate your time and thank you for all you've done. And uh, we'll see you on the next episode of Supply Chain Now Radio. Thanks.